Once again, my name's Sipio, and this is something a little bit different. Um, today it's time for story time with Sipio because uh, I'll just translate this. Um, someone requested that we read this little comic. Actually, a lot of you requested this. Uh, it probably helps if it's in fucking English. We'll wait for the translation thing to work. Now it's been translated. Uh, 2011 short mystery. Right at Milan. Uh, Manchester writers telling ghost stories. Never a mystery. This summer you become the spine. The bulky and dung ghost. Right, warning. This webtoon is a special horror episode for the summer season. Since it contains shocking scenes, readers discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those suffering from serious mental conditions. I'm fucked. <laughs> um, mystery sketch 2011. Line, line, circle, another line, thing. Bo Chong Dong Ghost, written and illustrated by Horang. Stories based on eyewitness accounts. Really? Why, why would you say that? Why? Alright. It was around 11.20 at night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after tiring night study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. Usually I see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, I was feeling scared. I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes. I thought there wasn't one around me. I looked up to see what there was. I'm not looking forward to this. Shit. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Um, there's a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. She looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pyjamas, looked like all of her joints had been twisted. Her hair was a mess and thick now everywhere. Ugh! Ugh! You know that people say if you're really surprised and you can't scream, that was right. I froze there, not even able to move at all. Where is my baby? What? I, my thoughts are racing to a question. Oh god, I didn't even know what I was thinking when I did this. This gave me chills to think at the moment. Pointing as far as I could, over there. She limped towards where I pointed to. Couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again and try to run up to turn and leave your apartment. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would not be people around. Oh, that's a clever fucking move, you bloody idiot. Oh, yeah, it is. I thought she said, well, there was no people around. I mean, that would be stupid. And at that moment, she is not here. I heard her screaming from far away. Uh. Oh. I don't remember anything from there on. And I heard that I'm a neighbor found me passed up on the ground, took me home and raped you. Alright, in 2011, in 7, what? 11? An apartment complex in Bing Chong Dong, down one ground go to a 33 year old woman jumped off the apartment and died in the spot. Known as her surname Cho and divorced due to an extramarital affair, she had lost her custody of a two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that, innocent Cho was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. After, uh, several times. Well, that was quite fucking freaky. I did not like that. Um, I didn't expect her to move, for one. Uh, didn't really say it was a motion comic. We might try some other ones later on. So just tell me if you enjoyed this. It's going to be a short episode for sure. But, um, yeah. It was requested. I've been Sipio. This has been Ching Chong Pong. I don't know what the fuck it was, but we'll just assume that's what it's called. Mysterious 2011. There it is. Thanks for watching.